everybody. Welcome back to Couples Counseling. I'm Allie. And I'm nervous that we violated some Nuzlocke rule by catching B.U. Seussman, but, um, screw it. We, uh, we entered a new area, the title thing popped up at the top of the screen. Uh, I, I'm calling it as being okay. What are black glasses? They up the power of dark type moves. Cool. Uh, yeah, you know, wearing your sunglasses at night and all that. Meet me to that. So, I believe, like, towards the center of this desert area, there's a tower we can enter, and there we'll be able to uh, see if we can catch one more Pokemon. Okay. A ghost Pokemon? Yeah. Uh, I think chances are high we'll get a Yamask in there. I don't know what a Yamask is, but I'm happy to find out. <laughs> I forget if this area is, like, completely optional. I assume it must not be. I assume they're gonna make us, you know, run around here at some point, but, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that thing either. Smug Life has a very high-pitched voice, doesn't he? Yes, he does. So it's sort of like the, the Queen of England. Hello! So, uh, where are you going? I'm going to the center! You're running around in a square! I, I am trying to get to the center of this map, but there's no, like, overview. <laughs> so I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Sort of like life. Yeah, that's appropriate. Okay, so that's not the center. Uh, try going up. Yeah, there we go. What's that? So I believe those are what uh, Darumaka uh, evolves into in like its blue form. And I still have no idea how you get it to be in that. But... Maybe a shiny. No, no, it's not a shiny. It's some sort of ability thing. All right, new area. How exactly? So explain to me shiny Pokemon. Like, I kind of know what they are. Um, so they're just Pokemon with like a slightly different color scheme, but they're super, super rare. And so they're sort of like a, a mark of... Prestige? Yeah. Like a, like a Birkin bag. Something like that, yeah. Did you ever... So, I, there were some shiny in Let's Go, but, like, I've never heard of anyone catching a shiny other than the Gyarados. Don't fight this. Uh, let's, yeah, no. Oh, it's a trainer battle. Yeah. Uh, but it's part flying, so let's get something else out there. Jennifer? Uh, you know what? Sure, it's also part psychic, so Crunch should do okay, although I am nervous about the fact that it's two levels higher. Well, Light screen. Okay, is that the one that boosts special defense? Okay, does not matter. Oh, shit, shit! I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, everything worked out okay. So, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <sighs> sorry. So that this was needlessly is, the, tense. So this is why I don't tap A quickly. Because <laughs> when I do, I make mistakes. <laughs> oh, it's my leg leveled up. Yeah, that's fun. Did you not see that coming, Psychic Perry? <laughs> okay, so uh, let, let's focus on what we're going to catch rather than fighting these guys at the moment. So should I go down the hole? Uh, then just walk around for a little bit. Let's see if something just pops up. Well... Okay, maybe go down the... Fuck. <laughs> you didn't see that coming? I, well, I'm not psychic like these guys. <laughs> Have you ever caught a shiny Pokemon outside of Let's Go? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Bellsprout and Golbats, like, exclusively. Which games? Uh... Wow, I, um... <laughs> One sec, let's figure out who we're gonna send in, because this is now officially tricky. Um... So my life could take a hit and I could kill Jennifer. 
So the thing is, I'm not sure Smug... I mean... Smug Life probably can take a hit, but that flying type has me nervous. Um... Uh, we should have healed up. Yeah. Um... Huh. Do you have an opinion? I think Lily might be a good. You... We've got Retaliate. I mean, so... Retaliate has to do with one of our Pokemon dies. Yeah, but it's still pretty strong otherwise. Yeah, um... Snoop Daru? Snoop Daru's 27. He could... You want to go with Snoop Daru? <sighs> His hit points make me nervous. Yeah. I think Lily might just be your best bet. But she's three levels lower. Is Smug Life weak to anything? Yeah, flying. Flying? Fuck. Okay. Um, Let's do Daru. He's high level. You want to do Daru? Yeah. Okay. Daru it is. Why am I so nervous? We'll just not get cocky. Haha. <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing. Potion. <laughs> I got cocky. Yep. What does that do? I don't know. You know, theoretically, we could just Google it, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to write that, that seems like too much effort for something that does jack Hitly. shit every time. Yeah. Torch it? Yep, torch it. Oh, really? You you saw the fire punch coming. The thing that just killed your friend. Okay, that was pretty less terrifying than I thought it would be. Yeah, no, that went okay. I'm gonna go down the hole now. Okay, you wanna go down the hole? Whee! You know, I thought quicksand would be a much bigger problem in adult <laughs> life. Okay, what go. are we getting? Sandile. I had a feeling we'd end up with one of these guys. Um, that should be good for the coming gym. Yeah? The next gym is electric type. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Alright. Leech uh, seed? Leech seed, yeah. Now, there is the slight annoyance that there's gonna be some flying types there too, but at the very least we're not going to, you know, take massive electric damage if we go in. Uh, with this girl here. You just gotta think of a good name. Yep. I mean, let's... Again, let's not get cocky, but... I'm all for that. Um... I'm thinking tackle. Okay. Okay. And now I'm thinking Great Ball, Ultra Ball, something yep. like that. Sounds good. Last Great Ball. Yeah, we've got Ultra Balls. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Yugi definitely has Ultra Balls. That is an accurate description, yes. Woohoo! Alright, Sandile! Female Sandile. Let's see what it has to say about her. Okay? It moves along below the sand surface except for its nose and eyes. A dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. Uh. Next, Sandra. I mean, that that seems a bit on the nose. Um, Gatorade? <laughs> Gatorade. Um, <laughs> if you like. Kind of like Gatorade. Okay, you wanted to do Gatorade? Because I was thinking like Crocs, but yeah. I don't know if the pun really translates. So, um, that I, is not... I, I, I know, I can spell. Can you? No. Ironically, ground type, and we reach for her to quench our thirst. All right, Gatorade so we're... made with real gators. <laughs> so we're finally, finally above seven Pokemon. Yeah, that's a yeah mask. What? I think that would have been kind of fun to have. What? 
What Ghost. Type? Okay. I've always had a thing for, like, ancient Egyptian stuff. Yeah, you have. Uh, and it evolves into a sarcophagus. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that would've been cool. I'm gonna run. You wanna run? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So Sandile was put in our Polka digital box, right? Yeah. It's, so she's now a digital monster, as it were. Let's just go up the stairs and go back to the last town. Yeah. Let's go to Nimbasa. 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 Umbasa. Mufasa. <laughs> okay, Basa, Mufasa. Umbasa, that's Dark Souls, right? Umbasa? Umbasa. Umbasa? Uh, I have no idea. Because I've heard people say it as like a Dark Souls, Demon Souls reference, but I don't for the life of me know what it is or how it fits in. I don't recall those like, things. Because like, I read a thing and I could be full of shit, but I read something on TV Tropes that initially Gearman in Bloodborne, spoiler alert, was going to say Mbasa and it was going to prove that the whole thing was linked to Dark Souls. Huh. But that was scrapped pretty early in production. I don't know. Um, hey, switch to uh, another Pokemon. It would have been cool to catch Sigilyph. Sigilyph does look interesting. So I, I've got a pet theory that there were certain Pokemon this generation that they initially planned to, like, do middle stage evolutions for. And they just didn't. Yeah, so I think that Unknown was supposed to evolve into Sigilyph with like a middle evolution that they were going to introduce, uh, and they just didn't do it. Uh, I also think that that's the same thing with uh, Love Disc and Elamomola. But uh, do, do you know what either of those look like no. off the top of your head? Nope. Fair enough. Question. Yes. What would a shiny Missigno look like? Uh, so Missigno. Uh, is red and blue before they introduce shinies. Right, because colorless. Yeah, right. black and white. <sighs> I should have realized that. Yeah. <laughs> so many interesting Pokemon we could have caught. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like a Sandile is a good, solid. Sandile party is, is going to be useful. I, I want to go get her in our party like right now. Does it seem to you that, like, random encounters are oh, often this generation? Oh, there are way too many random encounters. <laughs> I mean, uh, may maybe my memory is just, you know, biased No, it does feel like there are more random encounters. We probably could have taken it, but whatever. Uh, I want to go to a Pokemon Center. Yeah, for, for the sake of time. Well, I mean, for the sake of levels, it might have been worth it, but... So we're going to. Oh. <laughs> well, whatever. This will uh, hopefully be a path to level us up. That's a good thing. Yes. Assuming we don't die. Oh. My geek. I miss my geek. I miss my geek too. Um, okay. Rag and Rolo is strong or weak against? Weak. Um, but let's just use a potion now. Yes. You know... Why the... tempt fate? Yeah. You know, a lot of uh, society women pay top dollar to have a mug slapped into them in a salon. Yeah. Or a spa. Did, did it get a critical hit and just do one damage? That is correct. Wow, that is, um... That is a thing. It's also level 18. Yeah, but I mean, still. One damage on a critical hit. That is... That is not good. Uh, just tackle it. Yeah. Woohoo! Give him the chair! <laughs> Yeah, just run into that rock, Smug Life. I'm sure it'll work it. You. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Be worried for nothing. I. Uh, 
Bide. Bide is terrifying. Bide has never been a problem for me in like any other generation. And nope, north. North. And yet here, it has done work. Oh yes. But it, I mean, it's definitely the sort of move I am not comfortable relying on for us. Oh yeah, no, it's not reliable. All right, so Pokemon Center. Hey, look, a clown. Ugh. I do not like clowns. Yeah, uh, well, we heard all about it. Yes. How fucked up was that scene in Detective Pikachu, though, with Mr. Mime and the gasoline? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was delightful. That was so messed up, and it was so crazy. So apparently, uh, the people writing the, uh, let's get, um, yeah, let's stop what's up. her name? No, uh, let's get her out of the box. Oh, right. Well, what did we name Gatorade. her? Gatorade. Gatorade. Um, yeah. Well, what's a Gatorade slogan? Fear the, the G or something? The Thirst Quencher? No. Who should we, who should we put away? Uh, uh Donald. <laughs> yeah. We don't need two grass chips right now. Yeah. Uh, although it is interesting that uh, he's got water absorbed. That's, um, if we're ever in an area with a lot of water, maybe we'll think about it. Oh, and it's got Intimidate. Oh, that's fun. Hey, heal up again. I'm not sure that, um, I'm not sure Gatorade. Hey, Google the Gatorade slogan right now, because now it's going to sure. bother me. Yeah. Because I, I know it has a really famous one. Well, you know, this seems to me that uh, it illustrates Gatorade's marketing is failing. <laughs> I don't like Gatorade. It was just maybe thirstier. You know, I, I drink Gatorade a lot. You drink Gatorade during long car rides. Yeah. Um, at one time, it used Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Ha, Later, that's right. it rechristened its lineup of sports drinks and gave each drink a specific slogan. Be tough, no excuses, shine on, and bring it. Wow. Um. Up oh, there's Bianca. Uh, Christ. No, let's walk past her for now. It's not making us deal with her for once, so uh, let's not. All right, let's this way. Yeah, that's a good question. Macho, Macho brace. brace. What's that do again? Hey, I what think... do you call a brace that's not yours? Nacho brace. Nacho brace. So I think that's a thing that doubles Eevee's uh, effort values. But, Is uh, that what Eevee stands for? So not the Pokemon Eevee. No, no, no. I know, but like the Eevee, like the stuff you train for. Yeah. You have obsessively trained for. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I have. I never knew. So what does a uh, Ivy? Ivy inherited value. You get those through, uh, you know, pure breeding. Yeah, you. And randomness. God, you would breed Pokemon. Yes, I, I, just, I like, set up a eugenics factory for my Pokemon. You did like we'd just be like getting ready for bed, and I'd turn on some TV, and you just breed Pokemon. Yeah, no, I have spent a lot of time on my bicycle. <laughs> Bicycle. Bicycle. Riding around in circles? Yes. I love that they made it progressively easier each generation. To prevent the, the terrifying eugenics and inbreeding? Well, no, no, not that. They made it easier to just uh, ride on your bike. See, when, when they first introduced breeding, they uh, initially made it like, hey, there's this long straight strip that you can ride up and down. <laughs> Potion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. But yeah, they, they made this long straight strip. Um, I'm hey, let's back. go. Back. I'm gonna go back to Pokemon Center. Okay, sure, but then let's come back with a Gatorade up front. Okay. But so then they they kept making long strips you could ride up and down on right outside the daycare. Uh, and then they made it so that like you could theoretically, if you got on this one particular loop, nope. I am yep. directionally challenged. Oh right, it's past the freaky clown. Yes. Okay. Continue. So. Uh, that, that, like, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there was this island, and they finally made it so you could just hold down one key and just ride in circles uh, <laughs> forever. Uh, because they, like, did this shift with the camera on the corners of the island. Oh, jeez. Uh, Which game was this? Uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But then... 
um, they uh, they came out with Sun and Moon, and they made this one spot right outside the daycare where it wasn't like a long strip. You could just set it up so that you could hold down one key and your Tauros would go in circles forever. Oh. Oh, hey. It's this guy. Hello. You're looking for Team Plasma, right? They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. Woo, where it goes? Six Flags, baby. Yeah, they they were like, hey, we're going to hide here. But uh, no, they're just... Yeah, they're going around dancing like the old guy. You know, people don't remember that anymore. I was talking to our neighbor who went to... Let's ride the Ferris wheel and see if we can spot them. Talking, yeah, you're just being our, lazy, too. I was talking to our 10-year-old neighbor who went to Six Flags, and I'm like, oh, like the dancing guy. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, let's let's focus on this scene. But because, I'm old. <laughs> yes. Oh. I am the king. Oh, so you're just going to tell us that while we're stuck in here with you. But you're 12. Uh, I mean, I think he's, uh, he might be older. Gets has asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. From, uh, from what, dude? Probably a lot. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we can give you, like, an exact number right now, but, you know, let's go see what the Unova census says, and... My Lord N! You're safe, sire. Uh, you're part of the people we brought in to help us save the Pokemon. What? Battle... Oh. So... No! I don't! <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't? He, he's saying like, hey, let's, uh, let's keep being friends, but uh, don't screw with my team. I think. It really does feel awkward talking to him. It really does. Like, yeah, you know, save the Pokemon, and we're here having the them shit die. Out of Pokemon. And watching them get murdered because of our incompetence. Yeah, I'm feeling that. We're terrible Pokemon trainers. Well, I'm a terrible Pokemon trainer. Okay, you know what? Uh, I will accept that. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's um, mildly concerning. I forget what N's team is like. Well, we're back to hang out. Okay. Switch. Switch. Yep. Let's, I mean, we're five levels higher, but uh, no, let's, I'm not let's not deal I'm with I'm not it. playing with that. Um. Jennifer? Or. Uh, huh. Because BU Seussman is weak. Oh yeah, BU Seussman would be a mistake. Um, controversial opinion. We could throw Gatorade in the deep end. You want to try it? Yeah, let's check her moves. So click A and summary. Check moves. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Sand Tomb, Mud Slap. How much does Sand Tomb and Mud Slap do again? 35, not much at all. And Mud Slap does... 20. Okay, yeah. so no, not Gatorade. Um... Uh, we've really become like a, a two Pokemon party, even though we've got so many. Um... Do you want to do Genifer? Yes. Uh, I can sense you want to do Genifer. I am nervous about it, but uh, let's see what the they're, unblinking one can do. They're equally leveled, though. Whoa! <laughs> yes, they are. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's heal. You know, you're trying to save the Pokemon, and... Mine count, too! Oh, no. Switching. Uh, Snoop Dart? Let's just do Snoop Dart. It's our okay. safest bet. Sure. Yeah, I doubt this can... Yeah. yeah. Alright, facade? Yep. There we go. Hey! 
Your Pokemon look happy. As yeah. they're beating the shit out of other Pokemon. Yeah. That's what really, that's what really sort of bothered me about Pokemon and kind of hampered my <laughs> enjoyment as I got older. It's basically adorable kawaii dog fighting. Well, yeah, but I, so that topic's been, you know, covered so I know it's, been, I know so it's been done to death, but, but like, so it still bothers me. That's why I love Gen 5 for actually talking about it. Yeah. Oh, you could have fire punched here. No, well. Whatever. Like, I know I, it's like hot take guy. It's like, yeah. um, you know, Beauty and the Beast is about Stockholm Syndrome, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's pretty. <sighs> but I, I think Anne here is mistaking Oh, I'm the future you saw. I'm sorry, you fire punch. Yes. <sighs> I can see the future, but um, I I think N is mistaking uh happiness and relief in my po in our Pokemon. Uh, yeah, our Pokemon seem. Let's try a secret. Okay, oh, sorry. Yeah, her Pokemon seem happy, and that's because they're relieved they're not dead yet. Yeah. I am not dead yet. They, they're I can just... Can they're thrilled to be alive. Oh, look at Lily. I'm so proud of our girl. She's, uh, she's working her way up the totem pole. The result was the same, but you... what? Uh -uh. You're quite strong. Mm. But I have a future that I must change, and for that future, dot, dot, dot. Oh, oh he's a bishy. I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable unlike any other. Oh, so no. you want to be the very best. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> Collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon like we were doing anyway. Yeah, but you, I love this game for making the Pokemon League relevant to the evil team. Yeah. You know, e each game, there's, like, some dividing line between the actual plot I'm gonna and... I'm going to go heal. Uh, actual, it goes south for, like, two seconds. I don't think there's any grass in this area or whatever, but, you know... Oh, hey, Pokeball. But, uh, you know, let's just take a peek. Yeah, like, sort of like Kingdom Hearts, how, like, the Disney worlds had nothing to do with the... Exactly. Like, they did in the first game, but, like, after that... Yeah, you know, some people argue about that, but, yeah, I think they had a lot more to do with the plot in the first game. Relativity is a strong concept. Yep. My dear Watson. And we shall explore that next time on Couples Counseling. See you then. Yes.